staying on that technology piece, you know, I put a video up today, uh, you know, how social media is, is keeping you addicted to porn. You talk about that super normal stimulus, like with Instagram, we can just keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. And although it may not be the hardcore, you know, stuff that we're watching on a, on a porn hub or, or tube sites, it's, I got to imagine that it's giving you that same kind of false sense of, of dopamine. Actually, I so. came up with the term. I looked it up. Nobody's used Thing. And I'm like, I should trademark this, but because someone's like, yeah, that's cool. I never heard of it that way. Um, I call that dopamine dripping. Mm. So it's kind of like edging. This is the way that I describe edging and dopamine dripping is they're the same, but different. So like my brain is down here because thank God it's fairly regulated. So this is the dopamine levels that I need to exist and have a happy life down here. But if I had a pornography habit, I would need it up here to just feel okay about life. Then if I'm edging, what I'm doing is I'm going from three to four, all in one session to five, across days to six. I'm keeping my brain in this cloud. That's edging, like edging up these higher and higher dopamine levels. That's why it creates these massive problems for people because they're at this just enormously high levels of, and constant, like, keeping you in a cloud, the bubble, keeping your brain up there. When it comes to Instagram, it's at lower levels. It's not at three, like pornography would be, but it's down at two, but it's keeping you at two, two and a half, mm. two and three quarters. And so what happens is you, you're not flooding your brain, but you're dripping it with dopamine, with levels of consistency that last long, especially people who get on Instagram and they're just trolling through a feed for an hour or two. So then what people tell me all the time is then I relapsed because I was on Instagram. I'm like, you just took your brain from two to two and a half to two and three quarters. Your threshold is three. You've been dangling your, your brain right, be, right below your threshold for an hour. What do you expect? It needs more because you've trained it to consistently need more and more and more dopamine. The way out is to train your brain to need and want and be happy with normal levels of neurochemicals that make you feel good, but don't give you instant gratification. Teach your brain to use executive function skills, to go out, set a goal, make smaller steps, start making them actionable, take those actions, reward your brain and keep moving forward. But learning to exist down here at zero to one. Yeah. And, uh Love that. Actually, I, I take my guys, we like week one, it's, you know, call it a purge or, or house cleaning. I don't go, there's been sometimes I've gone and I've checked their account to see like, they actually do what I told them to do. But it's like, either take Instagram off your phone for a short period of time and just completely reset it. Cause most of them, like they're, they're not marketing. You know, I use Instagram as a, as a business tool. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a time where it served a different function for me, but where I'm at now, like I'm, I have very strict rules, but we actually go through and it's like, I need you to delete mm -hmm. these pages of following. She's not a fitness influencer. No, she's, <laughs> she's, she's a softcore porn star. Yeah. Um, let's call That's it what exactly it, let's it. Call it, what it truly do I is. Have, do I have to get off Instagram? No, but you have to entirely change your feed. Fill it with motivational quotes. Mm, yep. Fill it with people who inspire you. Find the things that you like. Make sure there's nothing triggering in it. Fill your feed with that. So, and I've been so busy, you know, undoing some of my great habits. That's how I use it. Like normally I'll throw something motivational into my brain, you know, late morning. And then while I'm chilling out in the evening, I, I motivate myself and inspire myself. Now, now just a slight change of direction here and then I want to get, get back. But can that, can that though cause a similar problem though? Like if you're becoming addicted to motivational quotes, so you're just scrolling and getting kind of the dopamine dripping with a different Definitely. type of content. So you need to obviously be careful. Wait, in yes. And yes and no, because like that wouldn't give you the levels of dopamine, Got it. That, okay. especially if your brain was conditioned to condition to other bodies to objectify. Got it. Okay. Bodies. So like, it's not going to give you anywhere near, but yeah, you can literally become addicted to anything.